All right. Sitting here at Cisco. Got checked in at, I think it was like 11.45. So, I don't know. They seem to, it's now 1.14. So, seems like they're taking longer than they did last time. And then, uh, U.S. food was faster than last time. So, they kind of, they kind of flipped the script on the, uh, on this one, right? So, no big deal. After this, I'm gonna go get the truck washed, trailer washed out. Probably just get the trailer washed. I don't know, truck's pretty dirty. We'll see. And then head up to uh, Amarillo, and then probably stop at the Loves out there and get a shower. Actually, there's a Loves here. So, but I don't want to stay here. I want to get closer to Armarillo so I can get to, uh, I was just saying in the last clip there about the first come first surf thing, but I think, uh, I think they open at 6 a.m. or something where I pick up. So if I can get there early, then I'm hoping I'll have a full clock uh, to get maybe past Moab maybe I think I can get past Moab <coughs> uh, so we'll see we'll see I want to get as close to the customer as I can and maybe just maybe they can get me offloaded uh, if I get there because I think their cutoff time is 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon so if I can get there Friday Maybe I can maybe I can get unloaded Friday and then just say fuck it and then head home. So that that's the plan. And then I got something kind of excited uh, coming up. So I have been looking at different jobs and not driving jobs, so to say, so so to speak. Uh, just because I'm I'm I am really really tired of, of doing this trucking shit you know for for people that don't know I've been I've been doing I've been in this industry uh, for 21 years I got my license as soon as I could and uh, I, I I've done I think I've done everything that there is to do in this industry so I, I'm just I, I'm I'm tired. I'm tired. I really am tired. So it, it's so. Anyways, I, I I sent in a I guess application or a inquiry to. It's not a very conventional job, so to speak. But uh, all right, so. I, I, I guess they don't have uh, lumpers here. I, I don't know. I don't know. Because this is the second time they haven't charged me. So, that's cool. Everything was good. Everything was good. So, anyways. Uh, like I was saying, it's not much of a conventional job, so to say. Uh, I'm not going to say anything yet. And it's not working for a company, it's not working for a corporation, it's not driving, it's uh, kind of doing, kind of doing what my, my passion is, I guess you can say, right? So we'll, we'll see how that turns out. It is a local gig. Well, it's not really local, but. Yeah, buddy. Um. So, yeah. Boy, I tell you, don't piss this chick off. Holy shit. So I'm at the truck wash here. Uh, there's like three people in line. So I was like, yeah. And they do a thorough job. So it takes them about 30 minutes to do a truck. Um, but Jesus, man, I walk in. Because usually I've walked in every time like, hey, I just need a washout. They got three different bays. One for tankers, one for hoppers or something. I don't know. But I've always gone in Bay 3 um, 
because it's just a trailer wash. It takes them like five minutes. Um, so anyways, I go in there and every time I've done this, and uh, I was like, I need a trailer washout. And she's like, okay, um, company name blah, rings me up. And she's like, okay, thank you. And I'm like, what bay do you want me in? I said, you, she's like, you mean you haven't, you're not in a bay? I'm like, well, no. I said, she's like, well, usually we ring you up after we wash you. I was like, well, I said, I usually, hold on, hold on. And she got like all frustrated and pissed off. I'm like, okay. And then this older lady came out, was really super nice. And I was just like, wow, lady, like, there's no reason for you to get this fucking upset. Like, I, I was just like, I, I'm not even going to touch this one because, listen, if you don't like your fucking job, leave. Right now, there are a ton of different jobs that you could be fucking working at. Like, all you do is sit behind a fucking computer in the air conditioner all day. And it's not like they're super busy here. It's not like they got 20 people lined out the fucking door. It's like, I don't know. It was, it was, it was just like, wow, man. All right. And the Amarillo. Uh, let's see. I think I got to go out. See if we can figure out how to get out of this place, huh? Every time you get ready to go, Somebody's always got to come. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a whole gaggle of them. Come on, Estes. Ah, oh, he's going to dick around. I can already tell. He's going to dick around. Oh, please don't. Okay. All right. We're gonna try to get out of here. I ran the reefer all night. Let's see. Let's see if we can get out of here. Or if I gotta deal with bullshit. So we ran the reefer all night. fit through here. Can I fit through here? I hope so. I hope we can fit through here. Ah, oh, she's got... I think, I think we're alright. I think we can fit through here. I don't think this is going to fucking happen. I guess we're just going to have to fucking butt our way in, right? Because, like, nobody's going to fucking let me out. We're just going to fucking butt our way in. All right. Hey, thank you. Thank you. You know, fucking... Yeah, thank you. Fuck. Stupid people, man. Uh, like, I don't understand this shit. Like, nobody wants to let you out. Because he's a fucking asshole. Yeah. I just need to get into this yield here. I just need to get into this yield.
heck is this guy doing?
there's nothing. There's nothing going on right now on the on the load boards, unless you want to take the cheap shit. Uh, I mean, they're now they're now offering uh, down to like a dollar seventy a mile. I did bid on a uh, load going uh, Uber going from uh, down to Goodyear, Arizona, and Salt Lake. They're asking like two twenty a mile or something. It's like sixteen hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars or some crazy shit. So I went in at like two thousand fifty dollars, right? That that bump it up to like two eighty, which is still horrible. Uh, and I knew they weren't going to accept it. They came up like a hundred bucks. So I was like, yeah, fuck you. So like I said. I may have something in the works. We'll find out next week. Uh, maybe get me out of this truck for for a week at a time, or you know, at least until the rates come back up. Like I'll let this bitch set. Like if if what is going to happen goes through, uh, I'll set for two or three weeks uh, or a month, just until if, if see what happens. Right. Um, I'll let this bitch set, and then uh, as long as I got income coming in, and then it, it I'm hoping it, it is what it is, right? So I don't want to get too excited, but uh, I'm hoping it's something that I enjoy doing. And if you enjoy your work, then you ain't working, and it's gonna be kind of outdoors. Um, Basically, it's it's going to be tinkering with shit. So, again, I won't get into details until I, I actually... I'm going to go talk to the uh, to the person on Monday. Hopefully, uh, I have to message him back on Monday. And hopefully, he's available. Maybe Tuesday. We'll see. So, anyways, I think he's almost done. Like I said, he, he gets shit in and out, man. In and out. Then I gotta go over to the loves and scale out. And uh, hopefully be good. So far, I've been good on every every load that's came out of here. I, I've been pretty much dead on, right? So, And this one's only 42,000 pounds instead of 40. I think the last time I came here, we put 44,000 pounds on there. Uh, or 43.5 or 43.8, something like that. So we're only 42,000 this time. I'm light. So, oh, fuck. Well, I knew this shit was going to happen. <sighs> Blew a trailer tire about 18 miles east of Santa Rosa. So, got out there. Pulled off the freeway. Luckily, there was an exit about two miles up. And, uh, got our shit situated. Those crossfires kind of take a shit once you blow a tire because the other tire just bleeds on into it. This guy is badass. This old man that owns this fucking place. Check him out. He's taking the service truck out. He's getting himself a going to get himself uh go fix a tire that's badass man anyways i uh, was able to limp it here to santa rosa it was about 18 miles or so uh, it was the inside rear trailer tire now i knew these fucking tires were gonna go because they're recaps and i was telling my buddy in vegas he says he's got a he's got a friend that gets containers full of Chinese tires, virgin Chinese tires. Uh, they're not recaps. And he sells them like out of a back of a container, right? Out of his like little shop that he has. So I was like, hey, let me know what what he charges and I'll give you all eight of my, uh, my trailer tires. Two of them, or I mean four of them are the double coins and uh, they're, they're virgin rubber. They're not recaps. The rear two were fucking recaps. And those are the ones that, you know, scrub, right? So, and, and I knew. I, I knew I had to get these fuckers changed out. And 
I was actually gonna do it when I got back to Cedar on this trip. I was like, you know what? He's he's dicking around. I'm just gonna go ahead and at least get these back two replaced. Cause you can tell, like they're they were dry rotting out. You know, I, I was hoping I had a little bit more time, uh, but luckily I was able to limp it here. And again, that's is it legal? Probably not. Uh, you know, throwing fucking tire chunks all over the goddamn place. Who cares? Uh, but if I had super singles, I would have been fucked. So again, never really liked the super singles. I don't know why I'm saying that because I've never even driven a truck with super singles. But anyways, I am making some lunch. I went over to the TA and I was like, yeah, we'll go see what's over there. Fucking disgusting. Uh, Popeye's chicken, and as soon as I walked in the door, we're closed for 12 minutes. I don't know what that means. I don't know what was going on. But, uh, and then this huge bear of a man, like he's walking out of the bathroom and he turns around the corner and like the courtesy of fucking truck drivers, man. I swear. Nobody has, and it's not just truck drivers. Nobody has any kind of courtesy out here anymore. They're all assholes. You know, I, I don't know if people are, are learning from their liberal fucking kids. Uh, but, you know, you sit there and you say that, hey, go Trump. Which, again, I'm not affiliated with any of the motherfuckers. Uh, I think they, all politicians can go rot in hell for all I give a shit about. I think this country should be able to run on itself. But again, if it did, look what, I mean, who the fuck knows what would happen on that. But anyways, there's no courtesy. Like the guy just literally doesn't move over, doesn't fucking say excuse me, nothing. He just goes waddling through the fucking hallway, taking up the whole fucking area. And I'm just like, damn, dude. I don't know. Just the courtesy of people. And here's the kicker of it. You're a fucking asshole when you drive your car. You're a fucking asshole when you're walking down the highway. Or, you know, down a hallway. Or, you know. But if you stop and talk to these assholes, it's like, you know, they'll sit there and say the exact same thing. Like, yeah, these people can't drive. These people. And you're the asshole that fucking drives just like them. I always found that uh, fascinating. Because I had a, a friend. She couldn't drive worth a shit. And I confronted her about it. You know? But, you know, she was, yeah, these people can't drive. And it's like, finally I told her, well, you can't fucking drive. You drive just as good as these assholes do. So, again, nobody, everybody's oblivious to what's going on in the world. And, you know, they live in their own little fucking bubble and they think they're perfect. So, I don't know. I'm going to go eat my stuffed shells. So, that, that's kind of where... I was going to have some, they got Popeyes and, and, and freaking Subway, of course. So, uh, I was like, well, maybe I'll have Popeyes. Uh, but again, it was just disgusting in there. I'm at the TA, like, at the tire shop right across the way from the TA uh, in Santa Rosa. And it's just disgusting. Alrighty. You just had to take an hour. It took, uh, close to two hours. So, I guess you're all right. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, 1383. So we'll chalk it up to 1400 bucks for four used, four used trailer tires. Uh, it is what it is. It's better than four new ones, because I think they were like 500 bucks a piece for some, uh, I don't know why these guys are parking over here for it, like, there's a fucking truck stop here, man. Use it. I don't know. So we're gonna try and get out of this shithole. Hopefully, knock on wood, no issues, but we'll see. Hopefully no more blown tires. Oh, that guy was waiting on me. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Car Hauler. I don't know why there's so many fucking car haulers here. Like, it's crazy. It must be 
us having a national account with the car haulers. So, this trip basically, uh, nothing. I mean, I'll make a couple, couple, what, a thousand bucks, but that's the joy, right? They say, they say that's the joy of owning your own fucking equipment. Well, freaking windier than shit, but, uh, what I got to wake up to, huh? Oh, yeah. Alrighty. We're in Moamba. Look at that view. I'm going to record driving through Moab. So. Oh, let me get plugged in. through price well, going through the I guess mountains or whatever uh, it started raining and then it's kind of raining here and there's thunderstorms so yay anyways I left out on Monday in Vegas started out being a horrible horrible day with fuck nuts cutting me off and people driving like morons like they usually do and then, uh, so I'm just making lunch, and then, uh, we'll get it done. Like I said, I'm, I'm, like, really in no hurry. I'm gonna go home after this, so it's no, no big deal. And they're pretty fast at unloading. Usually it takes them about 20, 30 minutes to unload, so. All right. Uh-huh. Telling you, can't catch a break. Fucking snow. Go away. Plus, worse. This is the bad snow. This is the wet, sticky stuff. So, yeah. Only 63 miles from the house. At least the roads are, uh, Slick. It's just the stupid people on the road. But that's always the case, right? Stupid fucking people. Alright, so I just got home. <coughs> Truck's still doing the same damn thing. Uh, I think it's shorting out. Let's see. No, yeah, it'll start. So, I don't know. Did it once. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe it's uh, shorting out on the uh whatever it's called the relay switch so i think it's due to the weather the rain because that battery box gets soaking wet so there's that uh this tire here for some reason is getting flat or it's this one i don't know so i'm gonna call around tomorrow see if anybody's open um, I am in Cedar City, and everything closes on the weekend, basically, right? So, also, so basically tomorrow on my day off, I am going to be uh, fixing fucking tires. So, uh, let's see if I can find it. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. Uh, anyways, my new tire had a hole in it. So I filled it up because it was low when i got home um this tire here there it is 
So I stuck the screw in there. Uh, it's right here. So I stuck the screw in there. Apparently it's not keeping it from leaking out because it's gone down. So yeah, fun times for me, huh? I get home and son of a bitch. I don't know. It's, it's never fucking ending, right? So anyways, this side here seems to be holding air pretty good. I think, I don't know. We'll look at it in the morning and see. Uh, so yeah, they gave me a used tire with a hole in it. But anyways, I found a load. I didn't book it, but leaves out next Wednesday going to Spokane. So we'll see how this freaking weather holds up. Uh, but again, if not, hopefully my thing that I'm going to go do pans out. If not, then oh well, back to trucking I guess it is, right? So is what it is. Anyways, I thought I was going to end the video. Oh, I got new stickers for my truck too. Uh, right now, my stickers are just black, basically. Um, so, I got uh, chrome. And then I got my my symbol. Um, my stickers. That So, I actually have a logo. So, I'll be able to put that on there. Um, and those things aren't cheap, right? When you have a logo. Oh, and then the excursion tire is also fucking flat which i knew about it um for a while now but that is going to be free over at the walmart but anyways we are going to sign out and see you on the next one